Hi, Charlie here. It's everyone's dream to have a superpower. But you probably think superpowers are purely fictional. Well, the people you're about to see will make you rethink that forever. From people caught on camera who appear to have supernatural abilities, to people who gained real superpowers after accidents. Table Girl this video comes from a cafe in China. It was caught on CCTV and only reviewed after the incident happened. As you can see, there's a group of friends and one woman sitting alone. It seems like some of the guys are messing with the man sitting next to the woman in the group. They appear to be doing something to his drink. And that's when he swats them away and tells them to sit down. Perhaps an argument was going to break out. But that's when the mysterious woman sitting alone raises her left hand. She then appears to move their table towards her. At first, the friends are scared and don't know what's going on. But when she moves her hands and the table moves yet again, they realize it must be her. The woman looks fairly calm as she's doing this, almost like she's done it before. Everyone in the friend group is seriously freaked out, and they even yell at the girl asking what's going on. They bang on the table and shout, but she simply doesn't look over. Eventually, she looks over and gets up. She then begins arguing with one of the guys. One of the men attempt to throw something at her, but that's when she propels him backwards using only the force. I'm not exactly sure what she could be doing here, but some have speculated she could be airbending in real life. This is also known as telekinesis. This is the psychic ability of influencing a physical system without any interaction. It's not known whether telekinesis is real or not, but in the 1960s and 70s, the CIA did do telekinesis experiments. This is what's known as MKUltra, and it was even the basis of the TV show Stranger Things. But do you think that's what's happening in this video, or is it something else? Earthbender you may have heard of the concept of earth bending before. It's basically the ability to move large amounts of the earth using only your body. This is also known as geokinesis. In this video apparently caught in China, one man appears to be doing exactly that. He begins by lifting up a gigantic piece of earth. At first you may think this doesn't seem like a superpower. Perhaps he's simply a really strong man. But after he physically lifts up a large amount of earth, check out what he does next. He appears to use some kind of kinesis and moves the earth without even touching it. The large chunk of earth gradually rises out of the ground. At one point, he even stands on top of the earth mound and moves it up with him standing on it. This shows it can't be something else pushing it because he's standing on it weighing it down. Some monks in China do actually practice geokinesis on a regular basis. But do you think that's what's happening in this video? Flying Man If you asked most people what superpower they would like, many would say flying. Think about how awesome it would be to go anywhere you want. Not only will it be convenient and save time, but you could also be a real-life superhero, saving the day and getting away from danger. Well, one day in China, someone saw something strange in the sky. At first, they thought it could be a bird or maybe a plane, but they soon realized it was a man. They claimed that it was very easy to see in real life, but because they had to zoom in on the video, the quality is not so great. Nevertheless, you can quite clearly make out the figure of a man. He appears to be hovering, flying around very high. It looks like he's around 5,000 feet in the air. He hovers around as the man films him. Although it seems like he's moving slow for us, remember, he's far away. This means he's likely moving around a lot faster where he is, almost like a plane. But close up, he'd be moving around pretty fast. It's kind of like how planes appear to be moving slowly when they're far away. Force. This video comes from a college or school in China. One boy is filming his classmate. He's laughing because his classmate is on the computer getting annoyed. It seems like he's having some kind of technical problem. The kid on the computer does not realize he's being filmed at first. But that's when all of a sudden he appears to use telekinesis to move his monitor back. His friend filming him then gasps in amazement. And that's when he appears to use telekinesis to slam the door shut. He was probably caught off guard that his friend caught him using his powers on tape. This video went viral on Chinese social media in 2018. And although string could have been used to pull the door shut, I don't see how that would work for the monitor. Also, the reactions in the video seem very genuine. But what do you think? Is this real superpowers or something else? Electrical powers. 
Electricity manipulation is a popular superpower in movies, but some believe that it's actually a reality. Many believe that Nikola Tesla was able to manipulate electricity. Many theorize he came up with a way to give everyone free energy. He would do this with a condenser, a receiver, and magnets. But some believe he was taken out before he could give the world free energy. But this video from Hong Kong appears to capture real electrical manipulation. But this video from Hong Kong appears to show real electrical manipulation. The video first shows a night photo shoot in the streets of Hong Kong. But all of a sudden in the background, a hooded man appears. Then all of a sudden his palms appear to glow a blue light. He seems very nervous when this happens, almost like he can't control it. When he realizes there's cameras nearby, he panics and runs away. The cameraman is amazed, so he follows him. But that's when the man appears to run across the road and then teleports into nowhere. A bus drives past, but the man simply vanishes. Do you think this man could be a teleporter as well? If there was just one superpower caught on this video, it could seem fake. But seeing as two superpowers occur, perhaps this is real. I'm not sure how you would be able to edit this, but perhaps there's a way. What do you think could be happening here? Get away. This video comes from the Garden City Police Department in Kansas, USA. One night, they saw a white car speeding. They put on their siren and began to chase the car. For a few minutes, the car swerved around at a very high speed. It was almost like the driver was possessed. They chased the car some more when all of a sudden the car vanishes through a fence. The police car was stuck behind the fence as there was no damage made to it. It's almost like the white car teleported through the fence. The cops were stunned and confused when this happened. The driver got away and has never been identified. This footage was released to the public to try and track down the car. It was broadcast on court TV, but to this day it remains a total mystery. Supermarket Superpowers This video comes from a Chinese supermarket surveillance camera. This video comes from a Chinese supermarket surveillance cameras. At one point, a woman is trying to get something down from a shelf. That's when another girl wearing a hoodie tries to help her out. She begins reaching for it, but then her back glows. She then seems to use some kind of telekinesis power to get the item. Later on, another camera catches a shopping cart nearly hit a child. But that's when again she uses telekinesis to move the shopping cart out of the way. Maybe this is an example of a citizen with real telekinesis. I guess that's how you would use your powers, just to help people out in day-to-day -day life. Do you think this woman really has superpowers, or is there something else at play here? Parking Lot Teleporter This one comes from a parking lot surveillance camera in 2012. A man can be seen walking to his car with groceries. But that's when an incredibly fast figure appears to fly by. It happens so fast it literally sets off other cars' alarms. The man is perplexed. But what do you think's going on here? Some have said this video could be special effects. I think it does look less realistic than some of the other ones we've seen. But maybe this really is someone teleporting or going at really fast speeds. Air Manipulation this is another video coming from China. One man appears to be using aero telekinesis. This is the manipulation of the air and wind. Wherever he moves his hands, the leaves around him appear to blow. Amazingly, this seems like it's happening after he moves his hands. It's almost like he's really controlling what's going on here. Take a look at this video from Russia. It shows an elderly man and a young boy on a scooter. But that's when on the sidewalk, a massive block of concrete crashes to the ground. The grandfather and small child are centimeters away. And a young girl also passes by the place where the concrete hit. But amazingly, everyone survived and no one was injured. It's almost as if the man had a sixth sense. Maybe he knew someone was out to get him. After this clip was played on Russian news, many theories sprung up. Some speculated the man may have had mob ties, and this was someone trying to assassinate him, while others said it was simply delinquent teenagers in the area. Whatever was going on, this was a very near miss. It's eerie that the elderly man and child paused in that exact spot, but it seems the man's spidey senses kicked in just in time. It's amazing seeing real superpowers caught on camera. 
But how do people get these superpowers in the first place? Well, it seems the main way is from an accident. Don't believe me? Here are some people who gained real superpowers after an accident. Jason Paget. For most of Jason's life, he was anything but academic. He did not enjoy school at all. Instead, he preferred partying, hooking up, and having fun. He always thought math was boring and pointless. But on the unlucky day of Friday the 13th, 2002, Jason's life changed forever. As he was leaving a karaoke bar with some friends, Jason was jumped. A few criminals hit him on the head many times. They also robbed him. He had a concussion and was taken to a nearby hospital. But when he was released from hospital and returned home, he realized he was not the same. He suddenly began to see the world like a retro computer game. Everything was pixelated and he could see things geometrically. He also began questioning things about mathematics and physics. He looked up fractals on the internet and realized that he understood it all, even though he never researched any of this stuff in school. Everywhere Jason looked, he saw fractals. Fractals are infinite patterns which are very complex. You can look deeper and deeper into them, but they simply go on forever and get more and more complex. Jason began drawing the fractals he was seeing, and within a few months he had thousands of drawings of circles and fractals. Jason could visualize a mathematical formula in his head, and then complete it on paper. He could also see equations and then plot them to a graph. He could visualize all of this stuff in his brain and then put it onto paper for everyone else to see. The concussion he received when he was mugged turned him into a mathematical genius. Eventually this was picked up by the media. He traveled to Alto University in Helsinki, and that's where his brain was scanned by experts. They realized he had access to parts of the brain most people don't have access to. His visual cortex also works with the part of the brain that makes mathematical calculations. This means he can literally visualize any mathematical equation and solve it in real time. He was diagnosed with acquired savant syndrome. This is a condition where someone rapidly acquires a field of knowledge. This can occur when something abnormal happens to the brain. For example, getting brain surgery or having a concussion. Ben McMahon For a Westerner, Chinese is one of the most difficult languages to learn. The writing is very complex. There are also words that mean multiple things when said differently. And it takes even people who are good at learning languages years to learn Chinese well. But that was not the case for one Australian man. In 2015, Ben was riding in a car that got T-boned. After the wreck, he was in a coma for more than one week. But when he woke up, Ben and his nurse were stunned. That's because Ben began speaking perfect Chinese. Ben had no idea how he suddenly knew how to speak and write Chinese. He asked his nurse for a piece of paper and a pen. Effortlessly, he wrote, I love my mom, I love my dad, I will recover in perfect Chinese. His doctors had no explanation for this at all. Neither Ben nor his parents had ever studied or spoken Chinese. It took Ben two or three days to remember how to speak English. But the entire time, he spoke fluent Chinese. If you didn't study for that Spanish exam, maybe getting a coma is a good way to learn the language. Just kidding, it's definitely not worth the risk. Especially as this has not happened to anyone since Ben. Scientists say that it's a medical mystery. Before we move on, make sure you guys subscribe and press the notification bell too. It really does help me out. Tony Sicoria. Tony Sicoria was a normal man living in Albany, New York. But one day in 1994, his life changed forever. He was calling his mother from a payphone. But that's when, from inside the metal and glass payphone box, he saw a big storm in the sky. He walked just one step and instantly was hit by lightning. His heart actually stopped. But thankfully, the woman waiting behind him to use the payphone was a nurse. And she was able to resuscitate Tony on the scene. A few weeks later, Tony visited a neurologist because he was having memory problems. But the brain scans showed nothing unusual. But then a couple of days later, Tony began to feel strange. He had a sudden urge to listen to some piano music, despite him only listening to rock and roll music before. He then started buying music sheets too. He began understanding the notes and how they would sound. All this despite never playing the piano before. He then began composing piano music, knowing how it would sound simply by looking at it on a page. 
He was diagnosed with acquired savant syndrome, and today still plays the piano perfectly. Orlando Serral Orlando was like any other guy. That was until the 17th of August, 1979. He was playing baseball when a baseball struck him in the head. He was only 10 years old when this happened. This meant his brain had not fully developed. After the baseball hit him in the head, he did not seek any medical care. At first, Orlando experienced a lot of headaches, but soon these went away. But what came was the ability to perform very complex calculations in his head. He can remember the weather, where he was, and what he did on any given day. Orlando's memory is basically superhuman. Scientists did many MRI tests on Orlando, and they diagnosed him with acquired savant syndrome. Derek Amato when Derek was 39, he dove into a swimming pool, but it was too shallow and he hit his head. Not exactly a genius move, but it did make him into a genius. At first, he had a very bad concussion, and he also experienced 35% hearing loss. But after he recovered from the concussion, he began to see music. Music began to fill his head and he began to see black and white squares which represented piano keys. He was able to compose music for piano and play it despite never playing it before. Derek was diagnosed with stenesthesia. This is a special form of perception. In Derek's case, it's music. Adroa in 2019, a group of children were playing football in Uganda. Among them was one 13-year-old named Adroa. Suddenly, it began raining heavily, and Adroa went underneath a grass hut for some shelter. But that's when the hut was struck by lightning. Adroa was taken to a nearby hospital, but it did not take long to realize that Adroa was very different. His eyes were no longer brown and were now a glowing blue color, and his veins were also visible through his skin. This is because his blood vessels were bursting from the electric discharge. This is known as a Lichtenberg figure, but Adroa had this all over his body. Amazingly, his eyes now let in more light too. This meant that he could see perfectly in the dark, but he found it very painful to see in bright sunlight. Alonzo Clemens when Alonso was a child, he experienced a bad head injury. This changed his life dramatically. It left him with an IQ of 45, and he was unable to tie his own shoes. But one thing he was able to do was mold very detailed animal figures from clay. He can look at any animal very quickly, and then in less than 20 minutes make an amazing 3D sculpture of the animal. They are always precisely accurate, even if he's never seen the animal before. He has no idea how he can do this with such speed and accuracy. Tommy McHugh Tommy Hugh was a construction worker for many years, but when he was 51, he experienced a double aneurysm and a stroke. He went into coma for one week, but when he woke up, his brain was full of rhymes, images, and pictures. He had the sudden urge to paint paintings and write poetry, something he'd never done before. He is now a very famous painter and poet. Sadly, he passed away in 2012. But before he passed away, he said, My two strokes have given me 11 years of magnificent adventure. It's something that no one could have ever expected from me. It's safe to say it's amazing when someone normal turns into a superhuman. But some are more unique than others. Here are some very rare people who are only born once in a thousand years. Zhang Rufang is a woman from China. She is over 100 years old, which is special in and of itself. But you don't have to look too hard to see what's so special and unique about this woman. This elderly woman is the only case of a human being growing a horn. Scientists have never seen anything like this before. And to make things even more strange, they have no idea why she grew this horn. For most of her life, she did not have this horn. It was only until 2009 that some of the skin on her head began to thicken. A few years later, a bump emerged. And then, very rapidly, a horn grew from her forehead. This is what's known as a medical mystery. That's because scientists are not sure why or how this happened. But it likely did happen naturally, meaning it could happen to anyone in theory. The horn is likely made of keratin. That's the same material our hair and nails are made from. Zhang was not sure how long this horn would grow. At one point, she was worried it would continue growing forever. But eventually, it stopped at a measurement of 6 centimeters. Initially, the horn prevented Zhang from sleeping. But 
because now she's got used to it. The older generations sure are very tough. And that's why she simply got on with her life and didn't let the horn affect her. Zhang does have seven children, but they don't live with her. They also live far away and don't see her that often. That's why they got a big shock when they saw their mother for the first time in years and she had a horn. Just imagine going to visit your mother one day expecting her to be totally normal. But when you go to hug her, a horn prevents you from getting anywhere near. Her children have offered to take her to the doctor to remove the horn surgically. But Zhang has grown somewhat attached to the horn and refuses every time. It now seems that she may be growing a second horn on the other side of her head. This would be similar to many animals who normally have two horns growing from their head. But of course, this normally happens in other mammals, for example cows, not in humans. Zhang definitely is one in a million. Before we continue, make sure that you guys subscribe and press the notification bell. If you do it, then you'll get good luck. Nong Yao Su Do you wish that you could see in the dark? Of course, some people do have better night vision than others. And they say that if you eat enough carrots, you'll be able to see better in the dark. But no one on earth has better night vision than Nong. This boy is from China. And he has a real life superpower, which is seeing perfectly in the dark. His night vision is totally perfect. He is from China's Guangxi province. And ever since the day he was born, his parents have been amazed by him. Despite both of his parents having brown eyes, his eyes were a light blue color. This is very unusual for Asian children in general. As Nong got older, his parents became more intrigued and amazed by him. That's because at a very young age, they realized he could see perfectly in the dark. On the other hand, he does find bright sunlight rather painful. Some speculate that he has the same eyes as a cat. If you shine a flashlight in Nong's eyes, they glow a bluish green color. That is the exact same thing that happens with cats. And of course, cats are famous for having perfect night vision. In 2009, Nong was picked up by the international press. Nong soon went viral all around the world and was dubbed Catboy. He was also given a Guinness World Record for being the first ever human who can see perfectly at night. But is finding seeing things in bright sunlight painful a good enough trade-off for perfect night vision? Let me know what you guys think down below. Giant Man Giants are not only in fairy tales. Of course, people can have conditions like gigantism. This is where people grow very tall because of an excess of growth hormones. But that is not what this man has. This man from Guatemala has an unknown medical condition. Him and his twin both had this condition when they were born. But sadly, only this man survived and his twin passed away. Ever since he was a young child, he was experiencing uncontrollable growth. The man is named Javier. And this mystery medical condition is not the only thing he has to live with. He also has osteoporosis, as well as hydrocephalus and a speech impediment too. His voice is so deep that many people think it's edited online. But no, that's really how he sounds. He continued to grow so much that his bones began to curl because they were so big. Javier is currently 7 feet and 7 inches. He needs 24 hour care and even a custom made bed and clothing. But amazingly, Javier still tries to live a very normal life. He went to high school and graduated. And he's also very skillful when it comes to using computers. Despite him looking very large and intimidating, he's very kind and nice. It's safe to say Javier is definitely one in a million. Muin Bachanov Having big eyelashes and eyebrows is seen as an attractive trait. Many people, mostly women, spend a lot of money trying to extend their eyelashes. But this will be no problem for one 11 year old boy from Russia. Muin Bachanov is known as the eyelash boy. That's because he has incredibly long eyelashes. He also has very thick eyebrows which twirl upwards. His eyelashes are two inches in length, totally naturally. This is much more than the average eyelash length of around 10 millimeters. Now, most kids would not want this in case they were teased at school, but Muin has embraced his uniqueness and says he does not mind them one bit. He says he lives like everyone else and he does not need any special care when it comes to his eyelashes. He said that he is comfortable with his eyelashes and eyebrows and has no difficulties whatsoever. He is in the Russian book of records for his amazing eyebrows and eyelashes. His passion is football or soccer, and he wants to be a professional player when he grows up. 
it's safe to say he will stand out on the field. Of course he gets a lot of attention when he goes outside, but Muin's father says that his son does not mind this one bit. Muin has been checked over by doctors and he's totally healthy. He simply has an excessive amount of a gene which causes eyebrow and eyelash growth. Boy solves his own murder. Do you believe in reincarnation? Billions around the world do, but most people in western countries do not. Well this story may just make you change your mind. One three year old Syrian boy stunned his parents when he said that he was reincarnated. The boy belongs to the Druez ethnic group in the Golan Heights region of Syria. He was born with a long red birthmark on his head. His parents assumed this was natural, but when he reached the age of three years old, he told his parents that his life had been taken with an axe, and that the birthmark was where the axe would have struck his head. Amazingly, the boy told his parents this as soon as he was old enough to talk. He told his family that his previous life had been taken with an axe blow to the head. Amazingly, the boy knew exactly what village he was from despite never going there before. When he reached the village, he also remembered his past life name. Locals of his past life village told his parents that a boy of the same name had gone missing four years prior. Amazingly, the boy even remembered the name of the person who took his life. When the man was confronted, he refused to admit to what he did. But that was when the boy led his parents and villagers to his own skeleton. The man then had no option but to admit to what he did four years prior. This story was documented by the German therapist Kreutz Hardo. He wrote an entire book named Children Who Have Lived Before Reincarnation Today. This amazing boy definitely is rare, but surprisingly there are many cases of children who remember their past lives. Zamzaman Eli Zanzaman Eli looks very unique. He is from Rwanda. He has a condition known as microcephaly. This makes his head much smaller than the rest of his body. Sadly, many of the local villagers do not understand this and tease him a lot. Sadly, many of the villagers he lives near tease him for this every day. This means he spends a lot of the time in the jungle and sometimes eats only grass. He is known to run very fast, covering a 20 mile distance in a single day. Despite his unique looks, his mother says that he is beautiful. Sadly, his mother lost five children before him. Zanzaman is her only surviving child. But sadly, his mother can no longer work. And that's why right now they survive off donations from kind people online. They've received donations from all over the world, which is nice. But it's sad that total strangers from around the world treat them better than their fellow villagers. Victoria Wright Victoria Wright looked like any other baby when she was first born, but at the age of four her face and life changed forever. She had a rare genetic disease known as cherubism. Only 200 people in the world have this. That means she is one in 38 million. This disease deformed part of her face. Children and adults teased her and made fun of her a lot. And as she reached adolescence, her eyes began to change too. But by the time she was 20, she had learned to love herself. And this meant that she stopped caring about anyone who was judgmental of her looks. Doctors even offered to give her surgery to reduce the size of her jaw. But by that time, Vicky had come to terms with her looks and said no. I think we can all learn a lot from Vicky. That is that every human has natural beauty. And we don't need to worry what other people think of us, even if it is negative. Vicky is now satisfied and even proud of her face. Her unusual appearance makes her unique and also a stronger person too. Naya Kim Gatwich This girl has a very eye-catching and amazing unique look. She is a model and calls herself the Queen of Darkness. That's because her skin is incredibly dark. At a young age, Naya Kim's family fled South Sudan and went to the United States. When she was younger, Naya Kim felt self-conscious because she was different from other people. She even considered getting skin brightening treatment. But eventually, she learned to love herself. And now her unique looks are loved by millions of people around the world. Not only is she a successful model, but she also has more than a million Instagram followers. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment down below, who do you think was the most amazing person in this video? If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel.
But as always, thanks for watching. There's some more content you may like on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.